at Rage, we believe in something we call impact journalism, so that the, the journalism we produce has to have a discernible impact on the audience and on, on the government. Um, so everything we do is kind of geared towards uh, pushing some sort of change. For example, student traffic, the project that we did where uh, we documented cases of students being cheated in their country of origin to come study in Malaysia with promises of work and uh, a part-time salary. Um, at the end of that project, you will see a call to action um, for either um, victims of student trafficking or the general public to be able to do something. So we gave them an outlet to report, self-report, if they were victims, or for the general public to petition their colleges to adopt anti-trafficking policies at their colleges. So that's what we did. Um, I don't know how impactful that project was, but I think um, audiences appreciate that you went that extra effort to tell them that this is a thing that you can do for these people. We did a story about debt bondage and we realized that um, uh, migrants are so used to paying for recruitment fees, but nobody really knew how much they had to pay in total when you would calculate for the interest fees that are put on top of these recruitment fees. So what we did was we developed an interest rate calculator given um, the information that is found on a migrant's uh, payment sheet that is basically the amount that you pay, the terms, or the number of months that you need to pay that over. And it would automatically compute for you how much interest fees were levied on the amount that you loaned. And we found out that from this interest rate calculator, interest fees in the Philippines on recruitment fees would amount to over 100%. That's just interest rates. So we inputted that or we embedded that interest rate calculator into one of our stories. It was a, a way of showing how migrants wind up in, in debt bonded situations because they end up uh, borrowing money to pay for recruitment fees that they'll have such a hard time paying for. We wanted to achieve two things with uh, this interest rate calculator. Number one, we wanted to show exactly how much and to show that it was just an unconscionable amount. Number two, we also wanted to provide a service to the community or to all migrants who want to find out, you know, how much am I really paying? And provide it in such a way that was easy and accessible and that everyone could understand.